What is up, BNE squad? We are back with another video. We are finally back, guys, with another finally. video. We had our children. My son decided to come eight days overdue, mm. and we'll do a little introduction with him later on in the video when we get back home. But today, we are actually going to do a mukbang for you guys. We've taken on your suggestions, and we're going to do a Mexican one. Mm -hmm. So we're right outside. We're at Botany, and we're going to do a little vlog for you guys. So stay tuned. Peace. we are back guys back here again as you can see we have our little guest here today this is my son roman um paul valley oh he's actually so cute when his eyes are open guys i love seeing him he's actually such an angel but anyway guys this is my son he's just gonna go back into sleep but we are going to do a little mukbang as i said before so let's just show you what we got we got a lot mm. of food we're going to do a lot of eating a lot of talking about how my labor went yeah. my experience so keep watching here's the food that we got we actually got four little um meals so we got this is a taco salad you can't really see it as much but it's like in this cute as what do you call those things taco shell taco shell and then next we have our good and gracious nachos Ooh. those are the nachos and then lastly we got some quesadillas oh look at this bitch she knows for i don't sure. know how, if that's how you see it but i've this seen looks this looks ratted as hell i've seen this at um okay, taco bar and i really wanted to try it because i really wanted to try these because you know quesadillas Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for today. We want to thank you for being with us on our video coming back to YouTube. I pray that you be with me and choose new things this year, 2019, helping our YouTube channel to grow and being with our fellow just subscribers. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So I'm going straight in with this quesadilla. It's like this little um white shit there. What is that, boy? Mmm. Yeah, fuck you up. I was talking to you in that bite. Oh Oi, this shit right here. Can I take a photo of this right here, Oi? Oi, don't fucking touch. I'm going to touch it. Oh. Oi, fuck. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you about this again. Guys. Okay, so. So, Victoria, I'm going to be interviewing mm. you today because obviously you're the one that had the baby. Definitely recommend that mixture can play. Or it's yummy as hell. Dip it in too. Yo, that's good. Mm. She was like, this is ugly as hell. Mm. Um, let's just eat for a bit. Yo. Do you think we'll eat all of this? Bitch, I'll eat all of this. Period. Just kidding. I think we have the same appetite right now. Wait, we're not gonna fucking finish this. Mmm. I'll definitely buy this again. This Wait, I'll definitely buy this fucking again. I'm surprised because it was expensive and I was complaining to the story about how expensive this was. But someone actually asked us to do a um, Mexican one. But it's so good to be back on our videos, Dwayne. It feels so good to be back. Um, sorry, I'm just hungry. Mm. 
Is it even for a bit? Mm. I, I think it's a little bit of a spice. If you can hear my son, he's in the back and he just um has the hiccups. He's up with. Yeah. He just has the hiccups. <laughs> so, tell us about labor boy. How do you know you want labor? Oh, I wake up. Um, two pains. But during um up to that point now I, I was already having pains. Um What time? Was it last night? The night before? Yeah, I've been having pains up to the point my, my son was born. Like um what's those pains for? Braxton Hicks. Yeah. So I thought it was Braxton Hicks. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Um, so I was like, Oh yeah, they're Braxton Hicks. And then after that, they kept coming, and I was like, oh, let me just time this. Mm. We know we're coming. We're going to get sore. Yeah. Um, I didn't get too sore until um, we went to the hospital. Um, I was going to get the epidural, but then I was like, then the lady's like, you should just try the gas this time. I was mm -hmm. like, I've already tried the gas in my other kids, and they didn't work. Mm-hmm. Um, but this time I did, and I just had the gas, which I'm pretty happy about. It was good to hear that you did the gas, and you told me that you like it. I don't know, gas just reminds me of weed, you know, guys? Not one that we should. I just reminds me of that. Which is high as fuck. So, anyway. How long was your labor? Um, no. So I started Ooh. feeling pains around 5 and then he came at 8. I went to the hospital at 6. Wow. And I was fully dilated for an hour at the hospital. So. And so. And you went fully Yeah, so um, I was 10 centimeters but he still wasn't coming out. And they decided that I was, go I was going to have a C-section. Um. That's just scary. Mm. And then I was like crying because I was like, I didn't want a C section. Mm. They said that he was too big and he wasn't coming down <laughs> fast enough. My son was 9.6. Well, actually, it makes sense because he's um, actually such a chill baby. Like, while he was just chilling up there, <laughs> while he sleeps like he is always. Mm. He's actually such a good baby. I'm not even exaggerating, babe. And then, so we were waiting for the, the doctors and they were like, don't push, don't push. So we're going to wait for the doctors. And then I decided to push and the baby came out. <laughs> and that's why I lost When they told you not to. Um they, so I was pushing for three minutes it says on the thing. Wow. Um I actually lost a lot of blood and I had to go into theatre. And what this the was um What my, the heck? This you was didn't the, tell me that part away. This was the like scary off part. Screen, you didn't tell me this part. Yeah. Yeah, well this was the scary part because she was like telling me what's gonna happen and she's like so mm -hmm. and the, as a last resort if we do we will have to cut your thing so that you, you know you your can't pussy. have it. No, so you, you can't have kids anymore. And I started crying. I was like oh, if, if things were to go wrong, yeah. Yeah, she's like, But to, as a last resort I have mm -hmm. to tell you. I was like, No, I don't wanna <laughs> I started crying because I want two more kids, obviously. Mm -hmm. And Obviously, then, I want my princess. And so I went into theater. I actually started crying. My husband mm -hmm. and my mom. He was kind of angry because my mom had to sign something. But he was like, why am I not signing mm. it? Because he's a husband. Mm. Yeah, why did mom sign it anyway? Just in case something happens, I think. And you're not there and he can't? Mm. But she, they said, like, I lost three liters of blood or something wow. like that. Wow. And that's why I had to stay in hospital the next day, Gee, that is... night. And then the next, before I could leave the hospital, I had to have an iron infusion because my iron was low because I lost a lot of blood. Mm. But that's what happened in my labor. Pretty scary, but ultra. And then my so sister was actually... in theater. Yeah, and they put me to sleep. Um. Have you have had surgery before? So I've had surgery before, so I. Wow. Was what was the gas like? Can you just tell me? I went to sleep straight away. Did you count? No. 
the first one I counted, like when I had my um my first surgery oh, before. Yeah, yeah. But this one, he just put the mask on me and I fell asleep. <laughs> I thought there was a baby waiting in the other room. Or was there a baby in there? You had the no, other one in there? No, no. So I sat here, looked after the child with uh, my son while I went to theatre. And he was born at 8 and I didn't feed him until... Um, I think it was 1. Because oh I, was like I was in theatre so long that... After I came to theatre... Yeah, how did your baby eat while you were fucking in there? They had to just like... They, he didn't have a feed. He was sleeping and... Well, what happened when he woke up? Like... Was that something mom, my mom said, My mom put his thumb in his mouth. Because... Mm -hmm. I don't know why they didn't give him any milk or some shit. <laughs> but... He had to wait for me. They said as long as you feed him in the... Um, the first six hours he's born, so they didn't. Re they weren't really worried. Mm. I think it would pass six hours, and no, but like, wake up, bitch. <laughs> Fuck, well, this is kind of fucking spicy. Take the green shit out. That's what I'm doing. I'm out here wondering why you're just eating so calmly. Wait a minute. After when you just eat this for too long, it does get a bit crank. The quesadilla. Mm. Like you need to eat that shit on the side of it. And I don't even eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! I thought it was yum. The little thing they had on the side. Yummy. Right now, baby is a week old, mm. so he's still sleeping a lot. How did you find yourself being overdue for those eight days? I think it was more of like the people were asking me like, is the baby here yet? Mm. Is the baby here yet? And I'm like, sorry, no. That pressure, right? Yeah. Like you can control the fucking... I felt like I, I had to have the baby <laughs> soon. Mm. Um, that's pretty much it. But I actually... Um, it was very uncomfortable at night time. That's when it was uncomfortable because I just felt like heavy. I couldn't move. Mm. We need to get a mic so we can do an ASMR. Mm. We need to get a camera first to fucking know. <laughs> People use earphones as well as the mic. I'm putting it in their phone. I don't know. I don't know where they put it. Mm. If you guys have any suggestions on some videos you want to see apart from mukbangs, or if you guys have like suggestions on food you want to see, let us know in the comments. Mm. Have you been watching Netflix lately? Yeah. What? Um. Actually no, sorry. But when I do it, it's usually the kids movies. I'm trying to find some good Netflix um movies. Yeah, like if you guys got some good Netflix movies, let me know too because I like actually watching seasons. I hate seasons. But I just feel like it's kind of Illuminati because like it's so dirty, like so many six ones. I just on forward it. it sometimes. Hey, <laughs> 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 fucking nasty bitch. <laughs> No, um, sometimes, I actually, hate, <laughs> I actually I'm hate, sorry, I'm sorry, but you say that, I need to go. <laughs> I actually hate watching series, it's so boring, and, I mean, it's nice, it's like cool, but I feel like I have to stay there and watch all the freaking series, and I just have no life, and I hate feeling that way, so I just watch movies, because it's only last like an hour. True, true, true. It actually gives me something to look forward to, like that. I want to tell you about the Jane the Virgin. If you guys have seen that Jane the Virgin one, she loved that, and I watched it's it. And I was like, fuck. She didn't watch it all, but she's in the I watched one. it with actually, you. Actually, so many people replied to my story already. So many people are watching that too. They've finished watching it. They're like, oh, I keep watching it. They keep saying that on my fucking story. Was it a good ending? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't like good ending, but it was like a twist. Like it wasn't something I expected. But Jim was like, I knew that was coming. Even my my husband got onto the fucking series of me, like. 
and I had to start watching it with him. 100%. What is your goal for this year? Definitely this year is going to be a year of self-love. boy. I feel like I need to love myself more. Um, especially because we have, like, our kids, you know, we, really, we never really get time for ourselves. Um, Definitely. Yeah. But how are you going to love yourself more? <laughs> I feel good about myself, bitch. But, but what are you going to do? I don't know. I feel like there's more to life than just being a mom, is what I mean to mm-hmm. say, you know. I really want to find my purpose in this world. I, I, just... I guess that's how, how I started my makeup page, because I was like, am I just going to be a mom? and stay mm. home and because you can be a mom and stay home but do you also get free time there your kids go to sleep too yeah exactly what are we talking about being a mom and being able oh to yeah just our purpose in life like oh i like the subject yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i feel like there's more to me than just like liking to work out you know like I don't always like to work out. Like, fucking people think I'm all about fitness and shit, and I'm not. I am. Bitch, fuck <laughs> you, bitch. Nah, I just like to do it for, I don't know. I don't know why I like doing do it. I just like feel it. good? Yeah, I feel good about myself. Like, it gives me a confidence boost to, you know, like, and it, I don't know. I, I really can't think of it on the spot right now. Like, if you gave me some time to think about it, bitch, I'll get back to you. I don't know. I just feel like there's more to life than, than just that. Like, I feel like God's got other plans for me, like, yeah, but then I'm good at, you know, like if talents. you do become a mommy, you shouldn't use your children as an excuse to stop your Yeah, genius. like, I'm a stay-at-home mom now, I can't fucking... Well, my mom, actually, like, even her, like, she had a, she had me at 40 and I was her last kid. And she's a freaking nurse now, you know? She started studying again, like, when after, she was 60. After fucking, we all grew up. Yeah, exactly. She she still had her dream. Like, like she, she always wanted to be a nurse. Like, she told me when like she was young. Mom. Like her mom, yeah. And it just gives me, like, I think also, like, that's another pro for us, boy, is that we had our kids so young that when we get to an age of, like, I don't know, 30 or so, like, we'll know what we want and, like, like we'll have what we want and our kids can look after them themselves, you know? Yeah, My like... My kids are going to be driving me to the clubs. <laughs> so we just checked our YouTube channel, guys, and we found out we just hit... 2k we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that yes, has subscribed thank you guys to us so, so far much. like i know all the support yeah especially how we've been having this fucking break like i'm surprised we even had that shit yeah so we hit 2k guys we just want to say a big thank you so before we leave guys we want to do our post notification shout out of the day and that goes to jen of eve thank you so much for subscribing girl and if any of you guys want to shout out make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on your post notifications if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of videos you want us to do next, make mm-hmm. sure you comment them down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Until then, we'll see you again next time. Till then, guys, stay, stay blessed. blessed. Bye.